ITIL has 12% of the smartphone market share in Africa. That is the third largest, and they've gotten there by selling good phones at a really affordable price. And that's what they did with the ITIL P37 and the P37 Pro. So let's talk about it. Okay, so two new devices, P37 and P37 Pro. Let's start with the P37. A 6.5 inch HD plus water drop display that is a resolution of 1600 by 720p. So, you know, a 720p LCD display, it's cool. ITIL claims it has a 90% body ratio, but I'm not too sure considering that, you know, humongous chin at the bottom. But at this price point, you can't really complain, can you? It also has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and that is super important at this price point. Battery on this phone, expectedly, would be very good. It also has a dual camera setup, an 8 megapixel main lens and a 0.3 megapixel depth sensor. So again, main lens, 8 megapixels, yeah, that's the same actually with the front facing camera, it's also 8 megapixels. Uh, yeah, um, it's, it's kind of like a basic camera, you know, you wouldn't expect anything too much. And let's be honest, that 0.3 megapixel depth isn't really doing anything. It's just uh, so they could say it's a dual camera setup. But yeah, camera on this phone would, you know, to a degree, good enough. It would be good enough. It also has two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. Now, unfortunately, that is the only configuration, but you can expand, you know, with a micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes. So one configuration, just like the ITIL S16, but it can be upgraded. It also runs on the Unisoc SC7731E 1.3 gigahertz processor. It's a basic, you know, basic entry level processor. Don't expect to be able to play PUBG or Call of Duty Mobile on it. It wouldn't you know, perform very well. It's just, again, a basic phone. Now the P37 maxes out at 3G in terms of network speeds. It's also a dual SIM phone. That's one of the areas where you would see a difference between the P37 and the Pro model. Colors, uh, it comes with gradient purple, gradient blue, and a dark blue. And it's priced around 38,000 to 40,000. Or well, to be safe, I would say 42,000. Now there are a couple areas where the Pro is different from the, you know, the normal standard P37. One of which is the size of the display. So the P37 is 6.5 inches, while the P37 Pro is 6.8 inches. So a little bit bigger, but it's still the same resolution at 720p. It also has the same 5,000 milliamp hour battery, except now there are two variants. We have the three gigabyte RAM, 64 gigabyte ROM version, and a two gigabyte RAM, 32 gigabyte ROM version. Now the Pro runs a different processor. It's an octa-core 1.6 gigahertz Unisoc SC9863A CPU running on Android 10. It's a little behind but you know one major difference in fact in the name itself is that the Pro supports 4G. So remember the P37 maxes out at 3G but this supports speeds of up to 4G. So I guess if you're into that you would buy the Pro instead of the normal one. It also has a better camera, a 13 megapixel main lens and a 0.3 depth sensor, just like the P37. So I guess a more sharper and I guess color accurate camera on the Pro than on the P37. The front facing camera is also eight megapixels on the Pro, just like the P37. Now the price for the Pro is around 50,000. I would love to get my hands on the phone as soon as possible to make a video for you. But for now, you can actually check out a video by Price Tech he did uh, talk about the P37, so you know, link in the description, or probably up there. Now, some other things about the phone, uh, it's still USB 2.0, so, you know, no Type-C, not like I was expecting any. Uh, you can unlock the phone with your face, so it does have a feature called Face Unlock. It isn't too secure, but, you know, it works. A fingerprint sensor, that is kind of more secure. And kind of like Price Tech mentioned, it's not as fast, but it is fast enough for the price. Uh, for the P37 Pro, there are three colors. So a blue, a sea blue, and then a green that looks like a blue. So yeah, um, I guess that's really everything you need to know about the P37 and the P37 Pro. So like I said earlier, I would try to get my hands on it as quickly as possible. But until then, if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. We're actually really close to a thousand and I'll see you when you see me. guys <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> so lame